What's up, y'all? Um, what a, what a time of year we've got right now. What a time of year. We've got the NBA going on. If you're a hockey fan, there's NHL baseball starting up again soon. March madness, bro. The end of March. It's all going down. College basketball. We were deprived of this last year. Do you remember? No NCAA national tournament. No March madness. No Final Four. The NBA and the NHL season canceled. Imagine us. Imagine if we had to go through that again. I can't believe we survived last year. But thankfully, this year, we're here. And the NCAA tourney has been kind of fire. Kind of the fire at the time i'm recording this we are into the elite eight by the time you're seeing this there might already be uh, a final four set maybe you're watching this later doesn't matter i've been enjoying the tournament i hope you guys are too rest in peace oral roberts we almost had a crazy cinderella run but in honor of march madness and the ncaa tourney i decided why don't we fire up a new video a new squad builder one player from the last 13 ncaa national champions and this video is very simple as you can see here i got a list of all the ncaa champions excluding last year because there was no tournament rest in peace i will take one player from each of the 13 past champs put them in a lineup in 2k use that team and we'll get a win that's that's what we have to do we have to win a championship on our own so let's get building let's go oh. first year we have to look at virginia 2019 they beat texas tech of course there was no championship last year i mentioned again but going back to virginia who at this point only really have one uh solidified nba player that would be deandre hunter uh with the atlanta hawks obviously some other players could pop here ty jerome with the suns he's still kicking around oh wait ty jerome's now with the okc thunder must have missed that trade but we really had no point in uh, no choice i should say in 2k but to put in deandre hunter he's the best card and unfortunately not a very good one but he'll develop y'all and we move to 2018 villanova might they pop up a couple times on this list i think so they beat michigan wasn't a close game but uh good for villanova i guess this villanova team actually chalked full of nba talent jalen brunson eric pascal dante divincenzo we've got mikhail bridges some really good young talent um, some guys who have okay cards in 2k it's not the best crop but we'll go with Mikel Bridges heat check he is having a great great season with Phoenix really looks like a bright star there for the Suns so we like it 2017 of course the North Carolina Tar Heels coached by Roy Williams they beat Gonzaga in a tight six point game I remember it well that UNC team again a lot of NBA names not necessarily talent Justin Jackson definitely didn't pan out Tony Bradley he just got traded from the 76ers we've got Theo Pinson a bronze card legend in 2k a few options here but i did have to go with tony bradley who was drafted by the jazz then became a 76er where did he just get traded to oh my gosh i'm drawing a blank i'll put it on the screen now too many trade deadline moves y'all moving along the second villanova team 2016 this game was one for the ages that game winning three. Oh my word i remember where i was watching that game it was so epic wait let me see if i can remember who hit the three okay uh mikel bridges again was on this team ryan archia cadano i never Never know how to say his name you know he's an nba player uh dante divincenzo eric pascal josh hart i think it was chris jenkins yeah 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 it says right there okay chris jenkins nailed it i know my trivia we already took mikhail bridges from villanova so we'll go with dante divincenzo on this team uh he's having a pretty good career pretty good role player for the milwaukee bucks 2015 the first appearance of big bad duke those blue devils on our list mike krzyzewski they beat wisconsin by five points in 2015 and this is an interesting team man so lots of nbaers quinn cook cool great Jason Allen, interesting. He's, he's an NBA player. Sure, Tyus Jones. Yep, Justice Winslow. Jalil Okafor, man, I remember thinking Jalil Okafor was going to be so good. Him and Carl Anthony Towns in that uh, in that Final Four or whatever. Like, bro, I thought Jalil was the truth. He was absolutely not. And Justice Winslow is who we'll take in 2K because awesome Vancouver Grizzlies jerseys, amazing head of hair, and, um, you know, Justice could still pan out. He's got a little bit of potential left. High key, we've just got a lot of busts on this team so far, or a lot of guys who have yet to pop in the NBA. 2014, UConn beating Kentucky. Who do we have? Oh boy, we've got a lot of it. Philip Nolan, DeAndre Jan uh, no, Ryan Boatwright. I remember his name. Didn't didn't make it. Shabazz Napier. All right, he was an NBA player. Cool. Yeah, that, that's that's literally that's literally it. Okay. And this is the first year in a while. 2K hasn't shown any love. Usually there's like a Ruby Shabazz Napier for March Madness. Nope, just just this silver card. Garbage. All right, eventually our lineup has to get good. Okay, 2013, Louisville beat Michigan. This was the year I graduated graduated high school so I remember this game well I think they've been stripped of that title technically because of the Rick Pitino stuff but can you really change history I, I don't think so they won yeah vacated 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 but like they still won didn't
didn't they? It's semantics, whatever. Russ Smith was cool. Kevin Ware, the worst injury anything I've ever seen on a TV screen, computer screen. Oh, it was so bad. Gorgi Dang was cool. I remember him. Luke Hancock. Yep. I wouldn't have guessed it at the time, but the only true NBA -er from this list, Montrez Harrell. And Montrez having himself a pretty nice little season with the LA Lakers after dominating last year with the Clippers. Hopefully he can keep it going in the playoffs though. 2012, we have the Kentucky Wildcats. Finally, those one and done Wildcats, John Calipari, they got a W. And this team, very, very loaded at the time. Darius Miller, uh, Miller, Terrence Jones, neither of whom panned out. Michael Kidd, Gilchrist, Deron Lamb, Marcus Teague, all elite college players. So many high expectations, but of course, Anthony Davis, the only one who worked out. And thank you very much. Finally, we have a card of some notoriety in our lineup. Galaxy Opal, Anthony Davis. You're going to have to carry the whole team, bro. I hope you're ready. Back to 2011, we have another Connecticut, another UConn team. This team featured a very young Shabazz Napier as well, Jeremy Lamb, but the captain, the, the leader, Kemba Walker, going to be the second best player on our team. Kemba, AD, we need some of that March Madness magic in this team. 2010, the second Duke team on our list beat Butler by two. Gordon Hayward was so close on a game winner, potentially. The 2010 Duke Blue Devils had a lot of white dudes. Kyle Singler, Plumlee, another Plumlee, Ryan Kelly. Yep, but uh, the second best Curry brother was also on this team, Seth Curry, and he's pretty good. Again, okay. usually we have like a diamond or a ruby moment, Seth Curry, but I, I guess not this year, just the heat check. Back to the last two two decades ago now, 2009 was two decades ago, uh, North Carolina beat Michigan State. They blew him out. Wow. Remember how good everybody thought Tyler Hansborough was going to be? Well, he was arguably the greatest college player ever. Yeah, it didn't really pan out, but Ty Lawson was actually not a bad NBA player. Low-key Wayne Ellington might have like the most successful career out of this team just because he's been in the NBA forever. But Ty Lawson has the best card in 2K, so you know, you know we had to slide him in there. We go to 2008, Kansas 37 and 3 on the season. Wow. But had to use overtime to beat Memphis. Was that? That was Derrick Rose, right? I'm pretty sure that was D Rose. And this Kansas team, yeah, y'all, we, we, we run into a problem here. Cole Aldrich, Darrell Arthur, Mario Chalmers, Sharon Collins. I'm pretty sure I checked everybody. There is not a single card from this team in 2K. So with all due respect to Kansas, we got to skip them this year. And the last two spots in our lineup will be filled by the back-to-back -back Florida Gators champions under Billy Donovan. We'll take a player from each. And it doesn't really matter the order we do this. This was the second year team. Corey Brewer, Al Horford, Joe Kim, Noah, Marie Spates, lots of NBA talent. And the 2006 team led by Corey Brewer, Al Horford, Joe Kim, Noah, Torin, um, lots of NBA talent as well. So I'll take two players from those two Florida teams who you can see right here in our starting lineup. Corey Brewer and Al Horford on both those championship teams. Altogether, this lineup is not very good. There are not very many legendary college players in 2K this year, which is kind of unfortunate, but we we got AD, we got Al Horford, we got a solid starting lineup, and uh, Mikel Bridges, Montrez Harrell, well, their cards are lit up, so that's cool. Let me go see if I can't win an NCAA championship of my own right here in my team unlimited. All right, y'all, we found an opponent? Yeah, he's got a really good budget team, Maxi Kleber. Oh, some cards that uh, DBG is going to be happy to see in his lineup, but let's see if we uh, we can't take a W here. Anthony Davis, Kemba Walker, that's pretty much all I've got. I probably won't even make subs in this game, if we're being honest. And this is the first time I've actually got to use this fire guy. Galaxy Opal AD card. I know people have been using him forever and just like dominating. Good stuff, Kemba. Good basket. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> My opponent's definitely like a budget baller who's out here. Who's out here trying to win? Okay. I got AD though. How are you going to stop AD? You're, you're going to foul him, which is not quite a stop. I'll take it. Let's go. This AD got so much speed. I should just be able to just be able to get inside. Okay, that's off. Oh no, that's on. Okay. Yeah, I'm really going to have to score everything with Anthony Davis right now. This is really tough out here, y'all. We are in we are in a bit of a battle. Okay, come on, Kemba. Ah, Kemba doesn't have Curry Slide. Every card in this game has Curry Slide, but not Kemba Walker. Really? Really? Al Horford? Big catch. Oh, Al, that was so soft. Al, you're a two-time champion. I need something better than that. You know what? Let's get AD working in the post. Why not? Why not? Who's that white dude inside? He ain't, he ain't stopping AD. Austin Crozier? I don't think so, buddy. No way. No. <laughs> no way. Like, do I really have to manually rebound that? Like, my CPU Ty Lawson can't just pick up the ball right in front of his face. Oh, my God. This game, bro, making me mad. Thankfully, they bailed me out with a white there. All right. Somehow I'm in this game. AD has like 10 points already. I love it. Okay, I brought in a couple players off the bench. I, man, I think I just got to pretend like I've got good cards. I, I just got to play like I normally would and hope for the best. Um, Al Horford, big stop. There we go. There we go. And the rebound. Okay. It's a mindset thing, y'all. I can, I, I can beat this dude if I just do my thing. AD wide open. 
How do I mistime that? But good rebound, Al Horford. All right. Oh, Seth Curry. Okay, okay, okay. If I get an open look, I can make it with a goal. That's good to know. Oh, good steal. I played that perfectly. Great defense by me. Okay, Justice Winslow. Uh, no, no, hold up, hold up, hold up. We got this mismatch again on AD. Uh, white man trying to guard AD. Ain't gonna happen. How, how would an and one? Nope. What? I don't even know what we're doing right now. Anthony Davis can't make a layup. 15% coverage. Um, fine. How about a post fade instead? How about the... Thank you. I, I guess, why, why would I even try a layup? That was just silly. Come on, AD, I need a bailout. I need a bailout, AD. I need a bailout. There it is. There... Just, like, come on. Uh, I know I didn't green that, but that... <laughs> <laughs> Galaxy Opal AD really oh my word y'all I, I don't even know what to say anymore <laughs> this game got me physically in pain right now with the stuff Anthony Davis is missing like oh my word just like I'm not trying to pull I'm not trying to fade I'm trying to go right to the rim and dunk on someone's face okay that was an acceptable miss because that wasn't a great attempt at least you let me grab the rebound how am I within six I don't even know what's happening I might need to sub AD out who knows all right y'all it's it's been a while it's been a while since i had a video where i got dismantled by an opponent and uh, i'm down 20. my team just nowhere near good enough to compete like low overall cards obviously but also just not like sometimes you can get away with low overall cards anyways opponent's a budge baller too like his team and he obviously knows what he's doing so being within 20 i, I feel kind of good about that i actually did bring in bench at some point too like i haven't just ran 80 the full game but i probably should have it's just like my starters got so freaking tired so anyways a, a whole bunch of issues look at that great defense it's about time i played some defense oh kemba all right Probably should have used Kemba a bit more too. Yeah, well, it's only a 15 point game. Could this be the greatest comeback Jay Canada's ever had? I, I mean, it's not out of the realm of possibility. Oh, good stop. All right. Well, oh, hold on, y'all. I might just be doing something right now. I'm a Ty Lawson. Yo, I definitely thought that was Kemba Walker. I don't know Ty Lawson's jumper. That would have been a huge shot. And instead, he gets. <laughs> Why is that an and one? Why? Anyways, no, I'm not coming back in this game. You know what? The good thing is, though, I finally got to use this AD card. Feeling like I'm a 250k champ using this card. Uh, he is really, really good. L let's add another two. What? How did I... I did not miss time that jumper. AD's got 30. You know, the lone bright spot on this team. Oh, man. It's been a while since I uh, lost like that. Very frustrating playing 2K when your team is 10 times worse than the opponent. But, you know, at least we've had, we had some fun with AD. Um, yeah, 30 points with him. And we had fun going through those colleges. Just wish I got a bit more of a fair opponent so we had a close game. But it is what it is, y'all. I hope everybody still did enjoy this video nonetheless. What is your favorite March Madness from those past few years? Did one of your favorite schools win a championship? I'm curious to read down below. Also, who do you guys have winning this year? We're almost at the end of the March Madness tourney. So uh, let me know your predictions down below. But that is all I got for this one, y'all. I'm Jake Canada. I will see you all in the next one. Y'all take it easy. Peace.